In the preceding video we've seen that we can use an op-amp, the 741, as a switch. And um, that there are two potentiometers, this one and that one. Um, with this potentiometer we can set the reference voltage and with this potentiometer we can set the input voltage. This next circuit is a voltage controlled switch. With the hysteresis, um, it's also made with the 741 op amp. And I will now show the function. These are the components. This is the 741 and the pin connections. I used the PMP transistor to switch here a LED on and off to show the effect of the switch. Uh, you can also use a very small print relay, relay and then you can um, switch a higher current. When you want to switch a very heavy current, you need another construction, a Darlington with a power transistor. But that's all in my book. Um, here is the circuit. And this is the external voltage. And I'm going to demonstrate now. Um, how the switch works. I've set the reference voltage here and um, when I turn the external voltage to a lower value the LED switch is on. You can see it. This is 5.9 volts. And now I raise the voltage slowly and this is 8 volts, 9 volts, 10, 11, and now it's suddenly off. This is 13 volts. So with this circuit you can for instance make a car battery charger uh, and of course you have to set these potentiometers to the right voltages. There is a range in this circuit, it's about um, the supply voltage can be between 6 and approximately 18 volts or 20 volts and the input voltage between uh, let's say 6 volt and approximately 14 volts or so. I now want to show a very important uh, function of this circuit and that's this potentiometer. It's P3. It's the hysteresis potentiometer and this potentiometer is decisive for the range in which the op-amp switches. Now I set it to this range with 13.2. It's the LEDs are off and I lower the voltage now. It goes to 7 volts and now they switch on. And when I raise the voltage they stay on and again at 13 volts approximately they switch off. But when I change the value of this potentiometer, hope you can see it, we have another hysteresis and it's now a very narrow gap between the voltage on which the circuit switches on and switches off. I turn the, the external voltage now and this is 12 volt, now it's 15, it's still off. And now it switches on at 11 approximately and it switches off or 10 and it switches off at 11 volts. So this potentiometer and the setting of this, uh, the value of this potentiometer is important and in practice you always have to uh, find this experimentally uh, and it depends of course on the way you want the circuit to work. As I said, you can use this for instance as a car, battery, charger circuit and uh, set the potentiometers to a value on which the, uh, when the battery is full, the car battery is full, the, sw the charge circuit switches off. Of course you have to use somewhat other construction here because you need a heavy relay to switch the current, but you can, uh, you can find it all 